Hi, I'm Martin Pring. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, but I say that a chart is worth a thousand pictures. And that's because charts in the financial markets often scream out very important messages that an important or significant trend reversal has taken place or is about to take place. Each month I publish a newsletter called the Intermarket Review, and each issue contains what I call the chart of the month, and that features a market that I think has just turned or is about to turn. So this series of videos aims at presenting these charts of the month. So if you're interested in them, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be brought up to speed on a regular basis. So without more ado, let's go to the chart room and see what's in store for this month. This chart moves us away from the realm of technical analysis and offers a warning of future inflation. The center panel shows a three-month commercial paper yield, and underneath is my growth indicator. This one is constructed from several leading economic indicators and is expressed as a rate of change. You'll notice that some of the parts of the commercial paper yield are highlighted in green. That happens when the growth indicator moves above zero. In other words, when it's in positive territory, it means that the economy is growing at a rate at which upward pressure is being placed on interest rates. As you can see, most of the time when the growth indicator is above zero, i.e. when we have a green plot, interest rates rise. Now there's another aspect to this relationship, and that's a very important one, because as you can see, sometimes the growth indicator moves above zero, but rates go flat or even decline. I flag these situations with the shaded areas. Now for the present, where we saw a small lag as rates declined with an above zero growth indicator. However, you can see that even today, rates are close to zero, while the growth indicator is trading at a very overstretched level. Flat or declining rates in a growing economy happen because we are only getting part of the picture in this chart. Remember, the growth indicator is really a proxy for the demand side of the credit picture, but the price of credit which is interest rates, is determined by the interaction between supply and demand. So if the demand is increasing and the price of credit, namely interest rates, is falling, it can mean only one thing, and that is that the supply of credit, as provided by the central bank, is increasing and that rates are being kept at an artificially low level by the Fed. We all know that's a well-intentioned policy because of the high unemployment rate, but it does have its consequences, and that's future commodity price inflation. Can we prove this? Well, yes, we can, because if I expand the chart to include the CRB Spot Raw Industrial Commodity Index, you can see that all of these instances of excessive stimulation were followed by significantly higher commodity prices, as flagged by that green shading. It also happens for food, as you can see for this chart, where I've introduced the wheat price. In effect, the Fed is saying, we're going to battle unemployment by raising the cost of filling your gas tank and putting food on the table, even though that's probably going to end up with a weaker economy and a greater ultimate level of unemployment. The moral of the story is that you can conjure the illusion of creating wealth from printing money for a while, but eventually, the self-correcting mechanisms of economics will return you to square one or worse. Enjoyed this chart of the month? You may want to go to pring.com and download a free sample of our intermarket review. A monthly roundup of the world's principal financial markets with a special emphasis on the US. We also look at global indicators, bonds, precious metals, currencies and international markets using ETFs to execute our strategies as much as possible. You'll find unique indicators and intermarket relationships you cannot find anywhere else. In the meantime, thanks for watching and good luck and good charting.